One of my viewers had a great question. They were creating a fillable form in Microsoft Word, and they had a question on whether to insert a page break or not, if they needed to insert a page break. So I'm going to show you when it would be appropriate to insert a page break and when you don't need to insert a page break in your fillable form. Be sure to check out the playlist. Uh, there are several videos that I've done and answered a lot of questions uh, that my viewers have had related to filling in, creating fillable forms in Microsoft Word. So this is an example of a form that we created, and this would be a static page form. And the form fields on this page are just form fields that the user will um, not type a whole lot of text into. So we know that this is a pretty static page form, and so there's not a whole lot of chance that a user is going to fill in a lot of information that's going to expand those form fields down onto another page. So in this example, it would be appropriate if we wanted to create a second page of the form to go ahead and put a page break at the bottom. So we just place our cursor and click insert and then page break. And that gives us a new page and say we wanted to create a note section and um, insert another fillable form there that we knew we know that that will be on the second page of that document. That would be a good example of um, where you would use a page break. There's also an example where you would not need to use a page break. And this is an incident report form that we created in a recent video on how to um, create expandable um, text boxes and things like that. So this on this report form, you would not need to insert a page break and the user can put an unlimited amount of text in the form fields and the page will expand accordingly. And so there's no need to put an additional page break with another section for the user to fill in that form. And so this is because we know that they can paste or type an unlimited amount of text into their form field and it will expand automatically onto subsequent pages. So I'm going to show you how that works. This is a form where we've already restricted the editing to filling in the form. So all we have to do if we're the user, we can type equals rand and then parentheses 10 comma 10. And what I'm doing here is I'm generating a lot of random text. And this is a word tip and that I have um, done a video on word tips and tricks that you can check out and it will you'll learn how to do those quick things. So I'm pasting this random text that I've generated as an example and I'm copying it into the form field here just to show you that a user who might need to type in a lot of text into the form would be able to do so and the form itself will expand onto subsequent pages automatically. So those are two examples of when you would want to use a page break or when you don't need to use a page break for your fillable forms. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up to like it, subscribe to my channel, and you can click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com, and thanks so much for all my viewers and asking such great questions. Be sure to leave all your questions in the comment section below the video. If you have any tips you want to share, leave those as well. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time.